I'm sure you guys remember the um, hydroponic video. I always kind of wanted to do that again. So I think that's the plan. Okay, this is... As you guys already know, this is our office and this is one of the rooms that I converted into guinea pig room. So it's this whole room. And then a uh, little bit of space here. I'm starting to think that I might want to upgrade this room. I'm sure you guys remember the hydroponic video, the our most popular video. I always kind of wanted to do that again. It's just that last time when I made it, it was not completely waterproof and the bottom would start to rot. So I'm going to try to remake it and then kind of place it on the corner over here. And maybe I should make it like pretty big. I don't think I need to make it small because this room is so much bigger than my apartment space. So first I'll have to have the bottom water bucket. We'll have the pump and I'll have the grassy area, the stair to go up and down. This time I'm going to make the entrance bigger than a small door that can only fit one guinea pig at a time because last time we did it, it kind of caused peanut to be able to block the door to prevent dumpling and tofu to come up in it. So let's get to brainstorm. So this is the plan. So from the front, I'm going to have, this is water bucket. And here I'll have the pump that pumps up the water and I'll need to have some sort of a table again. It's going to be very similar to what we did last time. I'm going to have the acrylic so that we can see inside. So this is kind of where the grass is going to grow. Instead of like last time, we did it so that if you were to look at from the side, grass was kind of growing from here. And then we sprayed water onto this wall and it would drip down and kind of into the bucket which pumps back up but this time what i want to do is set it up so that the water would get pumped and it'll slowly fill up the water to a certain level and then it's going to drain again into the bucket so it's going to be automated i think this way we can make sure that the seed is aerated enough and also they all get watered evenly because last time, this setup, the problem was grass on the side was growing significantly less than ones that were like kind of in the middle. So this one, I'll try to do it so that it's more even. And another change I want to make is I want to have a fan that's going to blow the air this way. Increasing the airflow above this area is going to circulate the air, which could help in preventing mold growth, the white mold that's very common on these types of grass. And the third thing is last time the side panel had like a small door with the like stair. But the problem was Peanut wanted to have the whole grass field for herself. She would just stay here and dumpling and tofu would get stuck here so they wouldn't be able to go up any. So what I want to do now is try to have like a stair on the side, like entrance here and entrance here, maybe two entrances. And maybe each one of them is good enough to have two guinea pigs go up and down. Maybe, we'll see. I think that's pretty much it, except, um, let me think. Oh, I think the biggest problem we had last time is we all know that guinea pigs poop, right? I do pick out the poop that's already on there, but I don't want the whole grass field to get kind of messed up. So maybe I'll divide this into a section. If you were to look at the hydroponic from the top, I think before what we had was we had like one big field and they would eat a little bit here, eat a little bit here, eat a little bit here, eat a little bit here which is not a problem because there is grass here, but the biggest problem was the fact that they would pee, kind of little bit of pee everywhere or a little bit of poop everywhere. That would prevent the growth of the grass in bigger areas. So I think I'm going to spot clean anyway, but I will try to prevent this as much as possible by dividing the whole grass field into three and each one will have five days of grazing period. So first I will plant this 
plant this five days later and plant this five days later and once this fully grows guinea pigs will graze for five days here and then here and then here as soon as they're done here and move to here i'm going to replant this area so this will have to be a completely new section that reminds me i can't do it so that it has two stairs here. This means that I need to have two doors for every single one. So if I were to look at it, the front view would require to have two doors, two doors, two doors, and then have a reinforced stair for all of them. So I think that's the plan. Now that we have everything ready, we're going to start making it. So stay tuned for episode two. It's going to be more fun. See you next week. Bye.